great conversation. I hope, hope it stays that way. Welcome back. We're here with America's sweetheart, Michael Keaton. <laughs> The, the new project called Dope Sick. Yes. Which you, you, you star in, you're also executive producing, yes. and it's on Hulu. Yes. It's, it's about the opioid crisis and, and how it affects this one town, and you play a doctor within the town. Well, it's not just the town. It's the, uh, it's the region. It's the country. Uh, it's everything. And, and uh, yeah, it's based on this book, Dope Sick, by Beth Macy, a great book, and... and a little depressing, but uh, eye-opening, to say the least. And uh, uh, there's a, it's a limited series, eight episodes. And it's also about how Purdue Pharma and uh, the Sacklers family, who... Uh, so, yeah, and it, it's really good. I got to say, you know, Barry Levinson directed the first two episodes, oh. and I, had never, I had never worked with him, but uh, I, I really like him a lot. And I'd always, we talked about doing stuff together. Um, it's it's tough, you know. It's brutal, and you know everybody. It's, it's, everybody has a, a, a connection with it now. By now, you know somebody yeah, who knows somebody. Pretty much everyone in the United States has somebody. seen and knows somebody. So who yeah, it knows starts on somebody, Hulu. Yeah. It's good, really, really good. We have a clip here where it's you're you're uh, giving testimony. Can you yeah. tell us where we are in the? In I don't the know which here? clip it is. I don't know. Okay. This. Well, let's discover it together. All right, Jim. Doctor Phoenix. Oxycontin. So just to be clear, you're blaming numerous deaths in your town on just one medication? Yes, sir. I am. And are you the individual that prescribed this medication? <clears throat> yes, sir. I did. So what's going on there? What's so a lot of laughs, obviously. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Uh, no, uh, it's really good. I, I don't know what else to say about it. Did so, Purdue know it was addictive? Well, I mean, there's currently a, a, a lawsuit going on right now that, uh, and it's in flux for 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 a minute, and I can't quite get into that. But if you ask me, of course they did. Yeah, they did. They, but they, they told they doctors it ways. wasn't, right? Yes, they basically sold it by, by saying it's not, and 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 te technically they probably worded things in a way where you could say, well, they didn't really say this, they didn't really say that. But yes, they knew, and that was the idea. They saw. They saw. They knew it could be the 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 like a gold mine. They were already you know billionaires, but but they knew this was a gold mine. This was a game changer for them. This and was, and even though there have been judgments against them, it's a drop in the bucket of the money they made again. Yes, on nothing, show. nothing. Right, correct. And so and and now, uh, if I'm not mistaken, so don't don't hold me uh, to this. Uh, but like, don't also hold me to the tattoo on Mike Pence's back. But I'm pretty sure. <laughs> No, I'm pretty sure that's it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, you, they, the, it went, the verdict was, we'll settle if we are immune from any other lawsuits in this, this area. And it looked like that was going to happen. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm not sure, I think it got to a certain level and a judge said, yeah, maybe not. Wait a minute. That might not be true. That sounds like too sweet of a deal. Yeah, that sounds like too sweet of a deal. And nonetheless, they won't, they won't, the damage done won't be much. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, and, and Compared to the damage that they did with their drugs. And it's exponential. You know, that kind of stuff is, uh, you know, I, I have a personal, you know, relationship to it. You probably know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had any of the Oxycontin, uh, Oxy no. products prescribed to you? I don't, I don't, I don't really take, I don't, I don't really take stuff. I kind of, I kind of ride it out if I have an operation or something. Mm -hmm. Not, I'll take like a, a lot of uh, like heavy, heavy Advil or whatever, but I don't like, I get really, Depressed, frankly, if I take on those things. So I don't do them. I don't. I can't do it. But it's they hand out like candy. But but we're specifically talking now about Purdue Pharma, Sacklers, and uh, and uh, this this region in this in this story. But it really represents. You know, it's it's the micro of the macro. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because you know, like when I did Clean It Sober, you you kind of what I really realized is. First of all, it's a disease, you know, it, it, you know to, to look down upon uh, people who are addicted to anything. It's a disease. That, I mean, I think we all, hopefully we all know that by now. But uh, 
what I learned in, in, in Clean and Sober was I, I, I just kind of got lucky, I think. I, you know, I just didn't either get that gene or, or somewhere in my head something clicked at the right time. And because and, and, I was around, you know, I've seen a lot of stuff, you know, and mm -hmm. a lot of stuff. And, and so uh, for whatever reason, you and I go, uh, okay, dodge that one, you yes. know. Yeah. But we're fortunate, really. Right, there before the grace of God. Yeah, there before the grace of God. Yeah, like St. Francis. St. Francis. Francis. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Michael, right. thank you so much for being here. Dope Sick premieres October 13th on Hulu. It's Michael Keaton, everybody. We're back with a performance by Zach Brown Band.